In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can add a drop down menu in Wix. Now, there are two ways to do this, and they're both going to have their advantages and disadvantages, and it just depends on what you're looking for. So, once you're inside of your Wix editor, you want to go to Pages and Menu, and you can see the current pages I've got are Home, About, and Contact. Now, let's say we wanted to add another page, and then from that page, we can add a drop down menu with more pages. So, we'll go Add Page, and we could then add a services page, right? So we can add a page or we can create a blank page for this. So I'm going to add here a services page and that's going to add that to my website. So here we've got the services page, which is going to appear on the menu. Now, if we wanted to create drop down menus from this page, we can click add page again. And for this time, I'll just create a blank page and I'll just call this page sub one. And I'll just go ahead and change the background image to this just so we know what page is what, right? So this page is called sub one and we don't yet have it on the drop down menu. But what we can do is we can go to pages and menu and then here you wanna grab the page and then kind of like move it to the right and it's gonna to snap to whatever page you've got at the top of it. So now we've snapped sub one to the services page. So now when we hover over services, we will have sub one drop down when we go ahead and preview it. Now I'm gonna do the same and add another page and call this sub two. And then I'm going to show you the disadvantages of doing it this way and how you can do it one more additional way because you might want it this other way. So I've created another page, sub two, and you can see it's automatically been snapped to the services page. And for this page, I'll just change the background image again to this cinema. Right, so now let's go ahead and preview this and save it. Once we go back home. So now we've got a services page and we can go ahead and go to sub one, sub two, or we can go ahead and click on the services page itself. Now the services page is gonna act as its own page and the sub one page and the sub two page are going to act as their own pages as well. Now, what do you do if you don't want the services page here to be active and you just wanna kind of have like a placeholder text here and only have the sub pages active? Because right now people can click on services, the top level page, and it will take them to a page, but perhaps you don't want that. So what you would do in this case, instead of adding pages, you can go ahead and add a folder. So if you go to submenu title, you can then add a folder and this is just going to be a placeholder. So I'm just gonna name it placeholder just so we know. So this is just going to act as text and then what we can do is add sub pages below this. So we can create sub page one again and I'm going to drag this down under placeholder. So now if we go ahead and save this and preview this, I'm gonna show you the difference between adding a folder and a page. So now let's preview this. Now you've got your services drop down menu and if people click on services, it will take them to a services page, right? Which is maybe not what you want. You've also got your placeholder, which people can't click on, right? Which might be good if you just want to have text here and only make the sub drop downs clickable. So now people can click on the sub pages and because we haven't edited the sub page, it's blank. But now people can click on the sub pages and go to obviously the drop down pages without being able to click on this placeholder page here. So if you want this, use the folders. If you want this with a clickable page, use pages. But that's how you can do it. Those are two ways. One of them will help you out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.